Many people are looking to cut ties with their cable TV, and while Netflix is certainly a great alternative, it still doesn't quite fill the void for certain needs like daily news or live sporting events. So what do you do? IPTV is most likely your best answer, but what is it exactly? To put things simply, IPTV is live TV over your internet connection and has been around for some time now. Recently, IPTV has become a lot more accessible with the emergence of set-top boxes like the Fire Stick and Apple TV and can be simply downloaded as an app with no fuss. With that being said, there are certainly a few disadvantages versus sticking with your regular cable service, the biggest one being your internet's capability. As you may have already experienced, video streaming can succumb to certain connection issues, especially when using a wireless setup. Before you decide to make the jump to IPTV, there are two forms of IPTV that you should really consider. The first option would be streaming over a local area network, better known as your house. And the second would be on a wide area network, or what most now refer to as the cloud. Devices like the HD Home Run are designed to work on your local area network and act as a basic cable or digital box, so to speak. By simply connecting this device to your router, a live signal can be broadcast from any compatible wired or wireless device that is connected to it. The HD Home Run comes in different flavors like the Prime, which will let you watch live cable TV, or the OTA Live, which lets you watch local TV through a basic antenna. They even just recently started a live streaming service as well that adds cable channels to their OTA devices for a monthly fee. An added benefit of using HD Home Run and other devices like it is that you will not have to pay for a cable box rental fee as it has the capability to run on most media players and PCs, though you will need to purchase a cable card in order to watch cable TV and that will cost you around $2 to $4 a month. I would say going this route probably has a decent do-it-yourself factor as it's going to require a little bit of setup to take advantage of everything it has to offer. While there are ways to set up a DVR so that you can record TV shows, HD Home Run offers a DVR service with a $35 annual subscription in order to use. Bear in mind that you will be required to use your own storage and depending on the device you use, there also are different ways in which you will be required to set things up. I recommend taking this route for people who want to get the highest performance from their live TV over the internet. The device will also be a better solution for a full house of internet users as broadcasting a signal through a local network will not affect the connection the same way the second option will. The biggest downside to this option comes with simultaneous viewing as price determines how many tuners you can use at one time. The most basic device only gives you two. If you're a Kodi or a Plex user, then you are especially in luck as this device supports both applications in a plethora of ways that I plan to cover. Now on to the second option, which is the live TV over the cloud. At the moment, several services which now include YouTube and Hulu offer IPTV services with most starting at $35 a month and offering around about 40 plus channels with local channels as well. Most services offer unlimited broadcasting on any compatible device and on top of that, you can get free DVR and on-demand services. The biggest caveat will depend on the service you use, and this is especially important for sports fans, because not all services support streaming at 60 frames per second. Frames per second determine how smooth live streams will look in action, so if this is something that is important to you, make sure to do your research for each service to find out if this is supported. Another big factor will be your internet service as most IPT cloud services require at least a 25 megabit connection for the highest streaming resolutions and frame rates available. We will be trying out some of these new services and giving you a basic overview, so make sure and stay tuned for this as well. Hopefully you now have a broader understanding of IPTV and at least have an initial plan of action on how you can incorporate this into your entertainment setup. Of course, we will be getting into more details about IPTV moving forward, so make sure and stay tuned for the incoming information. For now, this is the core, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.